Hi, Jenny here. Today's subject is actually really kind of disgusting, so if you don't want to watch, don't watch. But we're going to talk about maggots. And it's the perfect time of year to talk about maggots because a lot of people are having barbecues and uh, eating outside, and outside there are flies, and flies like to land on food, and <coughs> excuse me, and, um, and, and then they lay eggs and then you get maggots. Um, what happens is that people sometimes get maggots in their, you know, maggots are these small white, like creepy little disgusting worms. They're not dangerous, they're just disgusting, but they're not going to do any, any, any damage. Actually, they're helping us. Um, people get freaked out because they open their bokashi buckets sometimes at this time of year or in their soil factory or, or whatever, and they see all these little white worms and think that, something's gone terribly wrong. Well, it hasn't. It will be okay, so relax. Um, the maggots are not coming from the Bokashi brand. They are coming from the flies that have laid their eggs on the food before they got into the Bokashi bucket. So what I've done here, because I wanted to test a little bit, is I've actually produced some maggots. <laughs> Isn't that disgusting? So I put a little bit of food waste in some soil in the kitchen and, and watched the process. It's really fun to do if you've got kids. And so you can't see this, but uh, what we've got here are, I didn't see the eggs, but we've got these little brown shells where the maggots came out of. They hatched out of like cocoons. And then around in here is crawling um, some of the little white worms. And I'm sure that this is not going to work, but you might just see this little white wriggly thing on top of there. They're really small and really wriggly and yeah. Um, they help break down food. They like rotten food. They don't uh, eat fresh plants, so they're not a risk in your garden. They actually help us to break down food, but they need to be in an environment where there is rotten food and, uh, and or, or at least uh, food and air. But what happens in the Bokashi bin is that flies will land on your food before it gets into the bin, like in the kitchen or especially if you're having a barbecue and the plates with meat especially are lying around outside for a little while before they get back into the kitchen. So the trick to solve this is always to clean up your outdoor eating quite quickly, of course. And then in that phase, before the food waste gets into your bokashi bucket, to actually store it in something with a lid. So on my kitchen bench, I sometimes have something like this. It's a yogurt container and there's uh, food scraps in there. And I just put the lid on that um, for maybe a few hours until I actually empty the contents into the bokashi bin with the bran and so on. And just the mere fact of having a lid on this stops the flies getting onto it. It's as simple as that. And if the flies can't get on, they don't lay eggs. If you want to scale it up, you can do something a little bit like this. this is an old one I've had for ages. It's, it's a pot plant thing. And I just have an old saucer on top and I put the food scraps into here. It sits on the bench. And when the time is right, I tip it into the Bokashi bin, put on the Bokashi bran. And actually, this thing is quite good because it's heavy. And so when, when you empty it, you can also use it to push down the food. And the more compact the food waste is in the Bokashi bin, the better. So that's a good trick. Um, if some flies have happened to uh, end up on your barbecue, for example, before it gets into the Bokashi bin, they, and they've laid eggs, the eggs uh, will hatch in here. And what happens when you open the bin is that you might find those little maggots crawling around on here or maybe around on the inside of the Bokashi bucket. You can uh, wipe them away with a little piece of tissue paper and uh, throw it out in the garden. Or you can just put the lid on back really quickly and ignore them. <laughs> or you can just uh, put the bucket outside with the lid off for half an hour and let them escape because they will. And honestly, they won't do any damage. Uh, they like to eat dead food, not live food. So if you, they won't eat the plants in your garden. They just help you break down those ones that already are waste. So that's it, the wonderful world of maggots. Just relax, don't worry about them. They come from flies, they're part of nature. They're actually in some way helping us. And it just is what it is, just live with it. It's not going to be the end of the world.